So, hey, I've been thinking, maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You've earned it, Vet. It is not freedom, though. Wow. Now I feel stupid for not asking sooner. Don't worry. I'll try not to give you reason to slap that thing back on. Neither the collar nor your slavery were my idea. I hear you. Just another day in the life of the Empire, huh? Well, I'm not in prison, or collared, and it's sort of miserable weather, so I guess we should... Uh... What happens now? You and me, working together, taking down the galaxy. What do you think? What? Uh, well... Of course. Me and my buddy, the Sith. Nobody's gonna pick on me at school. Sorry. Let's just get going, yeah? You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl. Before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. You work for a Sith, as all in the Empire do. But your collar has been removed. Right. I do appreciate the difference, believe me. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. All of this while you were still a child? Yeah, I was seven or eight by the time I landed with three eyes. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. This is home. And this is our strange little community. Yeah, maybe. Watch out, I don't start calling you Mama. Have you ever heard of Noct Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy? Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noct Drayen was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I'm surprised he allowed a child to make that kind of decision. He was like that. Never once talked differently to me. Not sure he really understood kids. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. It must have been hard for you. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you're close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. You've only spoken of a mother and sister. What happened to your father? Dead, enslaved, disappeared. We never really knew. Maybe that's why I wanted to be Risha. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. 
but for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. You know, I never thought much about being a Twi'lek when I was younger. Even on Ryloth, there were lots of other types of people. As far as I could tell, people like me were just the ones who made the best slaves. Wasn't much to be proud of, you know? Not having role models can make identity complicated. You really surprise me sometimes. So mature. Not really what I'm used to. When I left Nocturne's gang, I joined up with a group of Twi'lek artifact hunters. They were all young too. Full of fire and Twi'lek pride. Out trying to recover our heritage. In the Academy it was all competition and suspicion. It would have been nice to have people I could trust. I never thought about that. Academy's not really a place to make friends, I guess. I made friends in the new gang. But it wasn't until we did our first job together that we were family. There was this rich Duras scumball, Kata Bliss. Obsessed with Twi'lek women, artifacts, clothes, anything. We took him for everything he was worth. You said he was obsessed with Twi'lek women. Did you have to rescue people along with the loot? Yeah. And some of them weren't exactly in great shape. Wasn't much better than Korriban, and they'd been there a while. Anyway, we were flying high. Did a couple more jobs together. Then came Korriban. And I guess you know how that ended up. You're never gonna guess what I've been doing. No, no, don't try. I'll tell you. In between jumps, I've been checking hollow frequencies. And I found the old gang. They're on Narshada. They weren't leaving messages for me in the old spots. I thought they got themselves caught, or dead, or something. That must have been very nice. Was that you trying to be polite? Old gang's been on the run since I've been gone. Apparently our mysterious informant for the Korriban job was that scumsucker Kata Bliss. Bliss sure got revenge for the job we pulled on him. Fake mission, fake cover story. I'm thrown in the slave pens. And he hits the gang hard. You're still alive, so the cycle of revenge can still complete. For once, I have to agree with your angry Sith thing. Once they escaped the mercenaries, Taunt and what's left of the old gang spent their last credits tracking Kata Bliss's movements. That Duro snake has managed to get his hands on the Star of Kala'un. It's a priceless piece of Twi'lek history. I want to get it back. We'll find this Duros and make him pay for every slight against you and yours. You're... fantastic! Kata Bliss is at the spaceport on Narshada, trying to line up a buyer. I'll send a message that we're coming. Make us out to be interested buyers. Oh, and I'll tell the gang to get ready to receive the artifact. Bliss has some famous Kalish bodyguard they call the Virus working for him these days. But that's not gonna worry you, is it? Nulilak apa jam kamgam, amka nem nang, ampa nem nang mebua inok, raka kem yu amkam nem nu, namgan bak umnok ki jak. What did you call me? No, not possible. Lapo ram amka, mamni nikag, nagnaya mamni kamgam. Hand over the star of Kala Un and this goes easy. Umnok kepam. I hear. Nibekap kamka, kakyam. I don't understand what's happening. Am I supposed to be intimidated? Amused? Kata Bliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'leks the galaxy over. We're full up on ugly. Kata Bliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'laks the galaxy over. Return the Star of Kala An. Promise to reform? And we may show mercy. I'll 
I'll grab the Star of Kala'un. We can meet the old gang here on Nashada. They'll make sure the star ends up in a museum. In Twi'lek hands. Well, look who the act dog dragged in. Taunt! Guys! And this must be the Lady Sith you've taken as your newest surrogate sister. Not a bad choice. I didn't even realize I was missing a little sister until Vet came along. Only you would find a sweetheart Sith, love. Shall we then? The Star of Kala'un is in the case. Authentic and undamaged. Chiktahopa! Got that right. Most important single blow for Twi'lek pride. All you, Vet. You've done something great for your people here. Cha'amo into Otman Gisa. Mitisa Tabarena? Here. It's every credit we could scrape together. And don't worry, we should be able to sweet talk the museum into getting us some of that back. Oh no, I know you guys. You won't even be eating. You have to buy equipment, bribe fees. We don't need your credits, do we? You are doing good work here. Reinvest your credits in your struggle. Really not what I pictured from a Sith. It must be Vet's influence. Kunto Kororja. I... No. I found a place. I'm gonna stay put for a while. But I'll keep in touch. You've at least got time for a meal, right? Let us show a Sith a good time? Nobody celebrates like Sith celebrate. Hiknagumba! I missed you guys. I'll say hello whenever I can. Be well, love. We'll miss you. Watch your back out there, kid. You wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Narshada with the old gang. Didn't realize until I saw Taunt again that I've always found stand-in big sisters. First Risha, then Taunt. Now you. I'm here whenever you need me, Vet. You are an amazing woman. Plus, we have the best making friends story. So there I was, being enslaved. All right, back to Sith business. <laughs> you know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again? It just made me miss my mom, and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? Sometimes it just helps to talk about it. I guess, someday I'll have to do something more than talk, I suppose. Right now I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister she was 10, 12. Okay, enough of that. Moving along. What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. Maybe you haven't been paying attention. I win all contests. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? You only have one sister. Yes, Tiva. Good job. I'll have to try something a bit more obscure next time. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. She was afraid that if Teva was discovered, she'd be taken away for other work. Other work? That's putting it nicely. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside, and I want to hire a tracker to find Teva and Mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board, get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? Of course, Vet. Whatever will help. You're the best! Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. You wanted to talk? I did it! Maybe you didn't think I could, but I did. 
A Kubas tracker named Krata found my sister Tiva. Found where she worked, even the name of her boss. She's on Nar Shada. Can you believe that? Krata wouldn't tell me any more until I paid him, but he found her. No time like the present. You are the best. We need to meet Krata the Kubas in a cantina on Nar Shada. I'll settle the bill with them, get the specifics, and then see my sister. Si otasek la prasma era, andra vimos pandimas protes cada vidra time. I've got your credits. You said you had more information about Tiva? Grata apatiki irprit veritini savasia zavere kazis. You did find her sister, yes? Alaribas algasiska li. Here are your credits. Now will you please tell me where my sister is? Batarana Ango, Miss Aka Nanom, Alas Protas Era, Smarcio Pobudas, Mana Ir Padre, Mana Narcali. Fantastic. Thanks. Let's go find this crystal woman. Atogia Parek Halatima, Dimas. Crystal? Yeah, cute thing. You looking for work? Men come here looking for something exotic. How about a Sith Lord on staff? That's not a bad idea, actually. Sense of danger. We're not here for a job. We're looking for my sister, Tiva. Ah, of course. I guess everyone has somebody that loves them. Tiva! No women, no couples, and no, I don't want to hear any argument. Tiva? I don't think you really see your customers anymore. Look closer. Sena? What the... You're alive? Despite my best efforts. This is my friend. She's, um... A Sith Lord. Charmed. Any family of vets is a friend to me. Vet? Is that what you're calling yourself these days? Sounds like a gangster from the tech sector. Old days. Long behind me. So I'm guessing this wasn't a voluntary... Uh... Career move. I've been working here two years, and it's killing me. I kept thinking I'd get sold again, but I'm too old. Sena, you have to get me out of here. Wow. Okay. Big favor. Can you buy my sister's freedom? This should cover it. Go pay your master. You're a free woman. You see why I hang out with the Sith Lord? I see. I see. I I'll be right back. It's done. I need to get my stuff. I can never thank you enough. Sena, I'll be in touch soon, okay? Make it soon. Well, that was amazing. Shall we go? What's on your mind, Fed? I've been talking to Tiva. First thing she did after you freed her was start trying to find Mother. I'm helping where I can. How goes the search? Aggravating. Standard Imperial databases aren't any help. Mother wasn't that old when she had us. She has to be alive, somewhere. Anyway, mainly wanted to thank you for Tiva. It's sad that nobody else sees what a good person you are inside. <laughs>